Hey guys and girls, on this video I will be talking about the fifth episode of the first season of Amazon's Upload and the episode is called The Grey Market. So the grey market of the title refers to this place where you can go in Lake View which is like off it in, in a different like district and it's where people who have been uploaded can get access to kind of illegal stuff basically so it's a play on words from what we call like black market in this in, in, in like the real world so it's this thing where you can go off and get like sex things sex videos you can get unusual like operations like tattoos there's a uh, a puberty patch which the character of Dylan gets and so Dylan and Nathan are introduced to this place by Luke who's a bit more in the forefront in this episode he has basically the whole thing with him in this episode is that he's being like really irresponsible and trying to almost get Nathan into trouble or just lead him astray and Nathan has been left in charge of Dylan and they as a free as a, a free they go off to the to the grey market and things kind of spiral there and that's because Dylan whose angel is Nora she's had to leave because her father's condition has has like worsened she gets notification and nathan's like go go it's important to see your dad i'll, I'll look after um Nate, dylan for you and of course this being tv you, you can sort of guess there's going to be like consequences and she's maybe going to regret that later on but basically nathan is left in in charge of babysitting dylan and the whole thing with Dylan, who we saw briefly in the last episode, I think it was, he he died when he was like eight or something, but something like that, really young, six, eight, probably about eight. But the whole kind of weird thing with him is because he was uploaded, he now is essentially 18, um, even though he still has the appearance of... A, a, an eight-year-old and that's why he kind of wants this puberty patch at, at the grey market because it obviously advances your ages your age like physically and naturally there's some anxiety with Dylan because he's obviously feeling kind of like an 18 year old but he's trapped inside a kid's body is basically the whole thing and one of the more interesting like scenes is at the start of the episode where we where we see him talking to like his family his mother in particular on like a video like conversation and no that's actually quite a sad moment because it's it's obviously quite weird for for his mother and obviously quite quite distressing really the fact that she knows her, her her kid is essentially 18 and grown up and yet obviously still appears to him to her sorry as as a kid and she still has that memory of him like tragically dying but again the, the episode really didn't do much for me i think that the problem with dylan is they just make him into like this potty mouth sort of kid who's just kind of annoying and they've clearly like made this into more of a comedy show which I said before I don't necessarily have a problem with but it does feel a bit of a wasted opportunity I think they could have done some things with this cool sort of premise rather than just playing it all for kind of cheap laughs and that's the thing I, I i think as as it's gone along the comedy has become more cheap and just you're on the nose sort of like stereotypical and they've just gone for like the crude kind of humor and it's just ended up falling mostly flat flat and quite you know dylan in this case i just find him quite annoying and potty mouth as i said and and the whole gag is it's a kid or he, he at least appears as a kid 
talking like rude and swearing and it's like yeah big deal and just the stuff that happens with him isn't that funny or, or like entertaining and I mean Luke himself as a character he's meant to be the more laddie looking to, to get with the ladies sort of pushing it out there but I think the problem is is like when you think about this idea of like the grey market in like this afterlife then it is an interesting idea on paper. It is the sort of thing they could do something with. But because this this show is so interested in just playing, I'd say, like most things for laughs, then it kind of just gets whittled away in like a quick little scene. And it just feels a bit like a gimmick rather than something that's like that explored. Um, so the big payoff is then that um dylan gets this this puberty thing because he, he wants to like become like the 18 year old version of himself so so they leave the place because they've only got limited time like they've only got limited credit to, to be to stay in the place and nathan takes him back to like his room and lets him sleep and we see him grow, and as it turns out, he, he turns into a woman. And again, there's this whole kind of lame joke where he's he sees he's in, like, the 18-year-old's body, so he's excited. He's like, oh, I'm going to go down to the pool, and I'm going to try and seduce some... It's that sort of thing. He's He's actually looking forward to becoming a player, if you like. And the whole gag is that he walks out and... It's sort of a bit too creepy because you've got like the William B. Davis character who's like, oh yeah, good look sort of thing. And the whole gag is, of course, then then he's actually a girl. So he has boobs and he's like confidently walking around semi-naked, not, not realising he has boobs. It, it's really not that great. And, and that's when um, Nora notices when she's back from seeing her father and it means she's pretty pissed at Nathan because he, he was left to babysit her and yeah, taking him off to the black market proved not, not to be a very good idea. And then obviously the other like main angel who we see in the show, who's like Nora's friend is um, then has to go and get Luke and Luke has gone off to this, this club to meet these two girls and the whole thing is he's trying to, like, rope Nathan into it. Nathan has kind of agreed to go on a double date. And again, there's sort of, like, issues because they're not uploads, the two girls. But So the other angel has to go and get Luke and kind of shows him up. And the whole thing is that when the girls find out he's actually an upload, even though, like, one of them says, yeah, I'm okay like that, I, I'm you know open-minded up for it like inside she's actually like throwing up which which is another kind of cheap gag so really that that whole thing was yeah it didn't do a whole lot to me for me there's smaller little things i mean nora and obviously goes to see her father they kind of connect and it's mentioned again like she mentions without naming him she mentions nathan and says oh yeah i'm in a long distance relationship and how how long distance he says well pretty long distance and she kind of says well he's into tech sort of thing which is technically the truth of course and she starts because she speaks to like like a tech sort of expert in in the hospital um and he actually gives her like this really cool like the best like downloading app to to get files on so there's just a small bit when she's back at work and Nora's actually like like getting like the files and from like Ingrid and Nathan and starting to like comb through those so that's obviously going to be a, a big sort of thing Nathan also finds out in this episode as he was told by Fran then when the decision was made by Ingrid to to upload him it it actually appeared as so his vital signs were starting to come back up so 
it, it it sort of makes her decision look even look even more suspicious because chances are they could have maybe saved his his life, and that's brought up in like this um, therapy session um, or this like they're having like couples sort of treatment. Um, so there's like a representation from um, for Ingrid, and then you've got the talking dog making a cameo for Nathan. So there's that. That's the only Ingrid episode, um, scene in the episode. Probably good news because I think, as a character, as I said, she's becoming very kind of, yeah, nothing of much in a way. I think they've run through kind of all the beats they can do with her. Um, and the the actual end of the episode is Fran, who's getting closer to the truth. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind seeing a little more of Fran, but it looks like, no, we're, we're not going to see more of her because she actually appears to get killed off in, in, in this episode at the end. So she's going for a meeting. She has this appointment with like this head of a firm i think it's maybe the firm who were like considering investing in in the uh, in um nathan and his business partners like project um the one where there was some sort of like gray area and of course now nathan's partner is taking all the credit and it's sort of got gone ahead um with him like not mentioned and Nathan was partly behind the idea but I think that's who Fran's going off to meet but as, as she's on her way the car malfunctions it shuts down and as it starts up again it basically drives itself over the the cliff so it, it's obviously suggesting and it's trying to cover things up trying to prevent Fran from getting to the truth. So that's upload episode five, which again, not really for me, not really into it. And I guess if it's going to veer more towards the humour, there's probably not going to be that much for me to talk about anyway. So I think this is me tapping out. I think I'm done at least reviewing upload. I might still finish it because it's an easy enough sort of watch and I might come back and comment on what I thought about it in the end. But as far as me reviewing it for the channel, I think I'm done. I've done half of the episodes for this first season. So I think that's a good amount and three of the five now haven't been very good in my opinion it started off well but has gone downhill so that's upload so i won't be doing any more of those but feel free to let me know in the comments below what what you're thinking of it if you've been into it and yeah please comment if you've seen it further as well but but that's me done for upload as far as things come in this week i'm gonna do another buffy the vampire slayer episode at some point maybe later in the week maybe at the weekend it will be the the dark age episode eight of season two so if you want to get that watch and get ready for the review um also just little bits of, of tv as well i'm currently doing kill and eve so I, i'll try and finish season three off this week i've just posted a new movie review which is of the sci-fi movie the vast of night which you can see on amazon prime so that review is now up on the channel if you want to check it out um, and also I plan to do a review of the horror movie Dreamland, a recent movie. So plenty of movie and TV stuff coming up on the channel. Thanks for listening. See you guys again soon.